Check this out, 2023 is set to go down as one of the least active tropical seasons in the Western Pacific on record. Actually, the third lowest with only 17 named storms, 2010 being the lowest with 14 named storms. The second lowest was in 1998 of 16. Uh, top four are all El Nino years too, so something kind of noteworthy here. We do have an El Nino currently going on across the Western Pacific, basically that uh, pushes some of the warm sea surface temperatures out here in the western Pacific over towards the eastern Pacific. It provides a lot of shear. We get more of these shear lines coming in from the north, what we're seeing kind of out there now. Look at that sea effect snow, that big old line stretching all the way back towards uh, still a minor tropical depression from the Japan Meteorological Agency out here. This is Kabayan, also known as Jellawat. Both warnings uh, from JMA and Bagasa have been dropped, but the convection is still there, and it's still slowly tracking off towards the west. But, uh, you know, it kind of ties in together, though, between this El Nino, uh, that shear line, and basically our least active season on record or third least active season on record here in the western pacific what is this area doing what's the shear line doing for our current forecast though and uh actually just show you here on the rainfall accumulation see this this is our forecast over the next five days indicating upwards of about one to 200 millimeters in these areas in red watch how this stretches back towards the east and even further east beyond that that is all thanks to said shear line just kind of attached to that monsoon flow it really is going to set up some pretty decent rain totals for northern Luzon. This just next five days, and you see here this GFS, ECMWF, some spots upwards of over 400 millimeters there in the dark, that black hole there across the mountains of the Sierra Madres there into the Cagayan Valley, and even in areas further towards the west, out towards Baguio, all thanks to that flow kind of kicking in from the north. And you can even see that shear line spilling in right there. There's that cold front. This satellite imagery is really cool too because you can really get good detail on that sea effect spilling in just going to be dumping snow for japan and then eventually that's going to push across okinawa and continue to spill south actually let's just pull up the winds the wind flow here and let's go ahead starting here on wednesday heading through uh thursday see how the leading edge of that continues to kick south and it's that interaction between that leading edge of the wind flow in the tropics that really just helps create that instability in those widespread showers across this area so yeah some impacts there even though a weather map from J japan meteorological agency kind of showing you what we're talking about with that cold front right in there you have those gale force conditions and then our tropical depression interacting with that whole line so that's the big topic here and that's going to continue probably over the next week those on and off rain totals i don't see anything um in the long range this is a great graphic from the climate prediction center uh indicating these areas uh you can see right here then the green above average rainfall i think that's more or less that shear line set up right there and maybe the potential for a tropical cyclone in the west philippine sea uh, between the third and the ninth but it's on the lower side uh as far as that main formation region out towards the east not too much happening out there at this time in fact um i shouldn't say that there is this little minor tropical depression well east of the marshall islands no worries with that uh, i don't see anything really forming out in the long range few people have been asking about that but between that and the entire main formation region we're actually pretty calm here and you know going back to the fact that it's one of the calmest tropical seasons on record uh this is uh just one of those updates where i'm kind of just sharing my thoughts with you guys uh especially in that long range i don't have my normal graphics with me i'm actually traveling right now so unfortunately just a screencast but i uh, just want to give you most of the details on here what i see out there by the way this is the gfs spaghettios in the uh basically going all the way out through uh the early to about the 4th or the 5th of January, my goodness, I never see it that quiet in that area with the SpaghettiOs. Usually one or two of the ensembles do kind of want to show something develop. Nothing whatsoever. So at least for the tropics, things are calm, minus our little minor tropical depression here, still helping to bring some rainfall for this area and that interaction with that shear line. But uh, in general, no, definitely zero threat of a typhoon over probably the next month.
As always, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Thanks for watching. And if you like these updates, one reason why I still do it, even on vacation, on the road, we have so much support on Patreon. Uh, your support there really goes a long way. So please do check that out. Link is down below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.